Alright, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna drop this quick update on how to get limitless range crap like almost immediately I jump right off the gate. Now I am a 65 overall, but my badges do point otherwise. And I have upgraded my three, so if you think just because I'm a 60, I'm gonna break a wide open three, then you're wrong. Okay, so I have gold limitless range, silver catcher shoes, silver corner specialist, don't have title score yet. Do have deep range to that, but um Yeah, so this is basically just uh what I have so far. On my thing, and my three's all the way out. That's the only thing. Well, I upgraded everything else once, but my three's almost maxed out. Can I upgrade it once, once more? Nope. But yeah, that's almost maxed out, and um, and all I've been doing is just doing this one cheese. Even with a 63, a 60, you could still be splashing. So let me just jump straight into it on how to get limitless range almost immediately. Alright, so what I usually do is after a game, I go straight to the training facility, I go to limitless range, and you don't want to do the skill drills, you do not want to do that because they're limited on how much you can get, but if you do the one minute three point challenge, which I'm about to show you straight into, uh, uh, yeah, so when you do the one minute three point challenge, if you start pulling from deep, deep range, basically, it's going to be like an actually playing a game, so like, um, I'm a little bit trash apparently, but um, it goes up a limited amount depending on how many shots you can get in that minute, how many you can make towards how many you make a miss. So as you can see, I made a couple of those shots and look at that, 2,200 points just for going 5 for 9, 2,200. Now that's, that's, that's a lot for a practice because normally you only get like freaking what, at most a thousand with the skill drills. But I can't do anymore because I did all mine. But basically, you just want to do all of that. Go to the juice stand if you can. The juice stand gives you an extra one after you finish practicing. So always go to the juice stand after you're done practicing. Let me try it again. So what you do is you want to sit right about here, step back, have a little space between y'all. Hold R2, push the right stick back, and then pull up. And nine times out of ten, it's gonna go in. But if not, then uh. You know, you're gonna brick some, especially if you don't got a 99 uh, three point. Cause me, I have a, uh, I have a 92, I believe. So I'm gonna brick some here and there. But as you can see, that first shot I pulled off right in his face, it was what. So sometimes you miss them, sometimes you don't. And I really don't play too much defense in my career, cause I really don't care. I want to get to the office. I want to get the badges. I work with my uh, hot spots next year, and of course they pull up. So the bad thing about this tactic is when you're first starting off, is you're freaking teammates barely give you the ball so you have to spam x and actually i'm just on the school because i really don't care go ahead Kyrie. of course here goes levin bringing this man over to me so i back up a little bit to the line right stick back and then i pull up and it's what so you, when you do it you just hold r2 flick the right stick back and then you just pull up all right so here we go i'm gonna give it another try hopefully nobody brings that man to me i am going step back a little bit do a step back and pull up green bean in his face so well it says it was open but shit come on now so um basically that's how you do the tactic you do the right stick hold r2 and then flick the right stick back and then pull up it's almost green almost every time so it's not that big of a deal only problem i have is when people bring that man to me which is why i'm actually shooting three for eight right now because every time i did the snatchback uh, somebody will come over to set a screen and then that man will guard me instead of my man so all right welcome back and uh couldn't get that 50 percent but it's whatever only played 19 minutes and still got 45 points and it's all good I usually get about 70 or so, but we're about to see how much I actually got from that. Contested deep three, 700. Deep three is 4,800, which you can see is a huge amount. I usually get like 7,000 to 10,000, but uh, obviously I was breaking this game. I don't know what it was. And uh, yeah, so basically then that, those are the stats right there. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe. Peace.